How to Avoid Engagement Ring Scams Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Buying an engagement ring to propose with is a big deal. Diamonds, love, money, and the feeling that your entire future rests on this one purchase. The last thing you need is to get ripped off. Step 1. Know your jeweler. Before you even walk in a jewelry store, check out the company on the Better Business Bureau's website to see if there are any outstanding complaints or worse, lawsuits filed against the jeweler. Step two, understand diamond speak. The four C's of diamonds are clarity, color, cut, and carat. Clarity defines and grades the number of internal inclusions and external blemishes a stone might have. The fewer flaws, the brighter the stone, and the more light it reflects. Color refers to the diamond's interior body color. The less color, the more you'll pay, unless your diamond has a strong, intense color like rare red or blue. The cut of a diamond is not its shape, but how well it's fashioned and proportioned to maximize its brilliance. The better the cut, the brighter, more brilliant the diamond. Carrots and points denote a diamond's weight, which in turn determines its size. Jewelers are legally obligated to write the precise decimal carat weight on the price tag. Step 3. See a diamond in person. Diamonds are as much art as commodity. Two diamonds with identical specifications can look very different, depending on the artistry of the cut. The right cut maximizes a diamond's brilliance. So beware when buying online, paying too much attention to data and low-res pictures. You must see a diamond in person before buying it. Make sure the diamond is loose and not mounted in a ring when you inspect it. It's easier to see its imperfections this way. Look at the stone with your naked eye first. If you can see blemishes without magnification, think twice before buying. Next, examine the diamond under 10 power magnification. Any legitimate jeweler will have a binocular microscope for you to use. You can also use a loop, but these are harder to use. Here's an insider's tip. Make sure that the loop is a 10 power and not a two, three, or five power loop. Some jewelers might use this trick so you won't see a diamond's flaws. If the jeweler gives you any excuse why you can't inspect the diamond under magnification, walk away. Examine a diamond's clarity by viewing it against a black background lit from the side. When inspecting a diamond's color, view it on a white background. Some jewelers will show you a diamond only on a black background, which will make even the most yellow diamonds appear white. Step 4. Get the cert. Make sure that whatever diamond you choose has a cert, a written document from a credible gemological lab, like the Gemological Institute of America, GIA, that delineates the diamond's four C's and other useful info. Ask to see this document before you purchase the diamond. Step five, spotting flaws and fakes. As in love, the best diamonds are true, not treated or flawed. But beware, a jeweler may try to sell you a treated diamond without telling you. Treated or clarity enhanced diamonds have had a little cosmetic surgery. Similar to the way chips and car windshields are fixed, flaws in diamonds are filled in with liquid silicone or another filler. The problem is that these fixes often aren't permanent. Exposure to sun, heat, and even some household cleaners will turn the filler different colors or make it fall out altogether. You can often spot filled diamonds under 10 power magnification. Here's how the experts do it. Turn the diamond onto its face, point side up, and look for flashes of single colors, which will indicate you are looking at a fracture-filled, treated diamond. If you see flashes with many rainbow colors at once, then you are probably looking at a fracture of an untreated diamond. Some engagement rings are impressive, but they're still fake. You can spot fake diamonds, like cubic zirconium, by placing a newspaper behind the stone. If you can read the print, then it's a fake. Real diamonds will scatter the light and blur the print. Step 6. Price Be wary of stores that don't put the prices on their merchandise, but put cryptic pricing codes instead. This allows them to change the prices depending on how much they think they can get out of you. If you don't see exact prices on the jewelry, move on. 
Make sure that you have the jeweler put in writing on the sales invoice the exact gemological specifications of the diamond, such as the 4C's grading of the diamond. Step 7. Get an appraisal. Finally, after settling upon a diamond and purchasing it, have an independent jewelry appraiser inspect the stone in your presence to verify it is what the jeweler says it is and it is the same stone described in the certificate. To find an appraiser, ask reliable jewelry organizations like the American Society of Appraisers for recommendations in your area. Guarded with knowledge of what to look for, you now know how to purchase your engagement ring diamond without being taken for a ride.